What if you woke up tomorrow and all you had were the things that you thanked God for today? What would that look like? Would you wake up in a bed? Would you have your favorite pajamas or blanket? Would your husband be laying next to you? Would your kids be down the hall? Would you walk out to the kitchen and have food in the fridge? Or would you even have a kitchen at all? Would you have a roof over your head? Would you have a car to drive to work? Or would there even be a job for you to pay your bills with? What would that look like? Because I think if you're real honest with yourself, there may be some days where you wake up the next day with nothing. Or maybe you don't even wake up the next day because you didn't thank God for the fact that you were living. I think that's really a convicting and sobering thought to think about because I'm that way. There are a lot of days in my life where maybe the day was busy or I had a lot of my mind or you know I was going through a circumstance where I was praying hard about that answer and I needed an answer for that problem and I forget to thank God for what I do have. And if I'm real honest with myself, maybe it's not so much that I forget, but I take advantage of the fact that I have certain things. And I think if you're honest with yourself, you could probably say the same thing for you. In 1 Chronicles 16.34, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His love endures forever. When was the last time that you gave thanks? You know, it's so important in our lives to be thankful for what we have, to be grateful for what we have, and to be content no matter what the situation or circumstance. So over the next month and a half, we're really going to be diving into what it means to be content and to be thankful. We're really going to be studying that, and I just feel like this is an area in my life that I feel that the Lord is really working on um, in my own heart. And I need this study just as much as you need this study. Um, if you follow, um, if you follow um, Josh on my blog, you'll know that we have struggled with infertility for quite a few years. And um, some days, that's all I can think about. You know, I watch YouTube videos on it. I listen to podcasts about it. I read books about it. I talk to my sister about it. Josh and I talk about it. I pray about it. Some days, that's all I think about. And that's all I talk about. And that's just where my heart and my mind is. And those are definitely the days that I would wake up the next morning with nothing because I'm so focused on the fact that I don't have a child that I forget of all these things that I do have. And I'm not content where I'm at. And I know in my heart of hearts that someday I will get to the end of this journey and you will get to the end of your journey. I don't know what that looks like. Maybe if it's a financial struggle. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe you're having marriage problems. Maybe you had someone pass away. I don't know what that looks like for you. But I know that someday we will get to the end of this season in our life. And number one, be thankful that we went through it. And that's crazy to say. But I know someday you will be thankful for what you're going through. And number two, you're going to understand why you had to go through it. You're going to see the lessons that you learned from it. And it's so important to remember to be thankful and content in this waiting period. Because God's timing and everything is perfect. And He's got a plan that's so much bigger than me and so much bigger than you. And it's going to be so amazing and wonderful and the timing will be perfect and it will be everything that you could ever want. It's going to be better than we could ever imagine. But his timing is usually not my timing or your timing. And his plan may not be my plan or your plan. And it's important for us to be content no matter what. Because when we're not content, when we're discontent, when we're ungrateful, when we covet other people and what they have, it's telling the Lord that we don't trust Him, that we don't think His plan is good enough, that we think our plan is better, that our timing is better and everything that we could come up with is better. And it's dishonoring to God. It tells God that we don't trust Him, that we don't think that He's got it under control. And I think if you're honest with yourself like I am, that's not how I truly want God 
to view our relationship, you know? I want to be trusting of the Lord. I want to have peace in the midst of my circumstances. I want to have contentment in the midst of my circumstances. In Philippians, they write, I have learned to be content regardless of my circumstances. I know how to live humbly. I know how to live abound. I am accustomed to any and every situation, to being filled and being hungry, to having plenty and having need. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we need to learn to be like Paul. We need to learn to be content no matter what the circumstance, whether plenty or need. We need to learn to be thankful and to thank God for every little thing, big or small, in our lives. And so that's why I really want to take this time over the next, it's a great season to do this in with Thanksgiving coming up next month, but of course you can do this study at any time. Um, I really want to take the next month and a half to really dive into what that looks like and what that doesn't look like and really take the time to thank God for everything in our lives. So I am writing my very first ebook. I'm so excited. Um, it's something I've thought about doing for such a long time. I just really feel like the Lord is calling me to do it now. So my ebook is going to be entitled um, Cultivating an Attitude of Gratitude, 30 Days of Thanking the Lord and Being Content in the Midst of Your Circumstances. And it's going to be a 30-day devotional. So each day of the month um, will have... You know something specific for you to thank the Lord about some Bible verses that go along with that as well as a section to do some journaling the book will launch on November 1st so we've got a little bit of time for that to happen um, if you fill out the link below I will post a link below where you can actually fill out your email address and your name and on November 1st I will send you that PDF ebook so that you can do the study along with us the actual devotional portion will be November 1st through the 30th but I will be starting the series um, well today actually through through the end of October so it'll be about a month and a half a little bit less but I just think it's going to be so wonderful and um, I just have such great expectations for this study honestly I feel like it's going to change my life and I pray that it's going to change your life as well I think when we have this attitude of gratitude where that's just the um, habit of our home um, as Lisa Rippey would say it's if if gratitude and thankfulness is the habit of our home, then I think it's going to change so much in our lives. I just think we're going to be happier and more at peace. You know, we're going to be um, nicer at work. We're going to be, you know, have more energy, be better at home. I just think it's going to change our lives so much. So I'm so excited for the study. I'm so thankful that you're coming along with me. Um, if you felt the link below, like I said, I will email you that PDF ebook on November 1st. And I'm so thankful you're doing this with me. So have a great uh, rest of your week, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.